What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be talking about a movie I got to check out just a little bit early called The Aviary. This is going to be an audio only review. I like doing these from time to time, especially if I'm just not in the mood to get on camera and edit together a whole video. May have come across a little bit lazy I suppose, but it's nice to kind of just sit back in front of a mic sometimes and just kind of handle it like a podcast. So if you got something to take care of in your house, maybe some laundry, maybe you're taking care of some uh, chores, maybe you're driving, whatever the case may be, uh, you can just kind of pop this on and listen to it. If you're new to the channel, I want to invite you to hit that subscribe button. I would definitely appreciate it and for everybody who's watching please hit that like button it helps the channel out quite a bit and if you can leave a comment down below that would help as well but yeah today we're gonna to be talking about the aviary a film coming from Sabin films this is my first ever screener from them and uh, this film actually comes out later this week on April 29th 2022 and will be available in theaters as well as on demand for purchase and rental as well as um, some streaming online as well so uh, yeah go ahead and check this one out online Line if you guys are interested uh, this was a movie that going into it I knew nothing about so I am going to talk about the basic premise of this movie so you'll know something more than I did going into this movie uh, but yeah overall I can start this off by saying I actually quite enjoyed this film found it to be a good time uh, this is a movie that I don't necessarily know if it's gonna be like on my best of the year list but I would say that this is definitely uh, worth the watch if you ever come across it. It's a thriller, and yeah, I, I don't know how I feel about it coming out on all those platforms at once. I kind of wish that a movie like this had come out in theaters because I feel like it could have made it a bit of a more immersive experience. Uh, but you know, hopefully, uh, it, it you know kind of reaches the audience that they wanted to reach uh, because this is a movie that I found to be pretty good. I really thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, written and directed by Chris Kulari and Jennifer Raitt, uh, who have worked on some short films and a mini series together. Uh, this is their feature length debut for both of them and they both wrote and directed the film. So cool to see these writer directors that have a partnership, you know, working on smaller projects that are eventually able to work on a movie like this. And they have a cast like Malin Ackerman, Lorenza Izzo and Chris Messina. And yeah, this this movie focuses primarily on Malin Ackerman and Lorenza Izzo as we follow two women who are just escaping a cult. The movie opens and they're on the run and over the course of the movie through dialogue we learn more about their past and what brought them to be a part of this cult overall. Uh, overall I could say I really enjoyed the film on a performance level. I found that Malin Ackerman and Lorenza Izzo brought a lot to the performance and they definitely sell you on these two women who have been lost in this cult and part of the intrigue of this movie as it progresses is you know they start to kind of find themselves being a bit delusional now they are out in the desert where they're running away so of course there is you know dehydration and hallucinations that come from things like that and the challenges of nature but this movie in and of itself also really focuses on the mental damage that people undergo when they are part of a cult you know and the kind of repercussions that that can kind of lead into to their lives into the future even once they are able to maybe escape the cult so yeah you know you do feel for these two women pretty early on but over the course of the film you do realize you know a lot of of trauma has been set on these women and they're not seeing hearing or feeling things the right way at all so this movie does have a trippy vibe to it consistently throughout the course of the film there is an element to this film that is all about the hallucinations and the dream sequences which ultimately I will say I felt made the first part of the movie a little bit messy for me it was a little bit jarring but I feel like they were kind of trying to go for that approach but sometimes it made the storytelling feel a little bit messy but by the midpoint of the movie I can say that like but by the midpoint of the movie and the latter half of the film, I can definitely say that I, I found it to be an entertaining watch. It definitely kept my interest. I was engaged to see where it would go. And uh, even though I found the ending to be a little bit predictable for me once they started to unravel things, overall, I thought it was a good watch. This isn't a movie I'm rushing to go back and rewatch. And this isn't necessarily a movie that I'm going to tell my audience to go and completely find an opportunity to find this movie and watch it. But I do think it's a good movie. And I think that if you come across it on streaming or if you're looking to rent something, a little bit different uh, yeah check it out it's not a bad movie I thought it was a good time uh, I think this movie may bore some because it is a bit of a slow burn at times so it really depends on what kind of movies that you're into if you don't like films that are very dialogue heavy this movie may not work for you it primarily takes place in one like setting overall you know they're out in the desert and they go to different places throughout that but for the most part the setting is very similar throughout and it's just these two actresses for the most part 
working together in these scenes to really sell the moments. So, you know, it, it is a movie that does feel like it's, you know, almost like a movie that kind of takes place in one location, except it's not, but it is at the same time, you know, just in terms of the setting. But yeah, overall, this is a movie about two women kind of battling with their minds and all of the trauma that they went through in the cult. And yeah, you know, I did feel for these characters over the course of time. I thought that Maylin Ackerman and Lorenza Izzo both give really good performances. I felt like the cinematography was pretty good as well. It had a nice, uh, eerie, subtle score throughout the course of the film. Nothing too crazy in terms of the music, but it does really elevate the moments in the film. And yeah, overall, I found myself a little bit bored in the early part of the film, but it's one of those movies that won me over over the course of time. And about the midway point and beyond, I just found myself more and more intrigued in where this narrative was going to go. And again, even though I found the ending to be slightly predictable once we had kind of unraveled a lot of the mystery uh, I did find it still to be an entertaining watch and I'm happy to be talking about it and, and you know uh, just happy to have checked it out because I think this is a movie that would have gone under the radar for me so that's gonna be my thoughts on the aviary again it comes out on April 29th in theaters digital on demand all that jazz and I did see on YouTube that it is a paramount movie if I'm not mistaken uh, just based on where the trailer was posted so if that is the case maybe this will eventually show up on paramount plus and if you have paramount plus then maybe check this movie out but maybe that you're watching this review way into the future and you've already seen the movie and if you have and you're stopping by just to see what i have to say uh, definitely definitely let me know what you guys thought about it did you like it did you not like it did you find this movie to be a little slow at times were you into it just whatever the case may be leave those comments down below a big thanks to you guys for listening and i'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye